Now continuing coverage of the tragic killing of a police officer on Cape Cod. The Shrine of Flowers and Mementos left on Officer Sean Gannon's cruiser is growing tonight as the southeastern Massachusetts community comes to grips with this loss. Today, a procession of fellow police officers led Officer Sean Gannon's body to the funeral home. Gannon was a New Bedford native, went to high school in Dartmouth, and was currently working as a police officer in Yarmouth when he was shot and killed in the line of duty yesterday. Gannon's canine, Nero, was also shot. Police say he survived emergency surgery and is recovering tonight. The suspect appearing in court today, Thomas Latanowicz, is being held without bail after pleading not guilty to killing Officer Gannon. We obtained Latanowicz's criminal record, which shows more than 100 prior charges, including armed robbery and assault and battery with weapons like knives and wooden bats. Tonight we're hearing from retired Rhode Island State Police Colonel Stephen O'Donnell about how the law enforcement community comes together during these tragedies. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us now live in studio with more. Eric. Mike and Caroline, between the support in person and the outpouring of support on social media from agencies across the country to Yarmouth PD and Gannon's family, it's clear when one officer dies in the line of duty, police everywhere are impacted. As the day went on, the memorial on Officer Gannon's police cruiser grew, covered in flowers and balloons, and as the man charged with murdering him faced a judge, many of Gannon's brothers in blue filled the courtroom. Something can go wrong. And when it goes wrong, there's no question about how those police officers bound tightly because you can't break that bond. And I don't care if you're from California or you're from Maine. Former Rhode Island State Police Superintendent Colonel Stephen O'Donnell knows that bond firsthand. He's been to several funerals for officers killed in the line of duty, including Providence Detective Sergeant James Allen back in 2005. Going to a police officer's funeral that was murdered in the line of duty is probably, without question, the worst thing that could happen to someone in law enforcement. Thursday night, the support for Officer Gannon's family and department was clear, too. Police cars lining the road, flashing their lights. Many may wear different uniforms, be from different departments, or have different jobs, but O'Donnell says it doesn't matter. Every cop on the street says that could have been me. His own son is now a police officer. He says officers and families know about the risks that can come with the job of protecting their communities, but never expect the worst that Yarmouth and the Gannon family is now dealing with. Everybody's hearts and th sympathies go out to him and his family, but his family has to deal with that forever. An individual for Officer Gannon is scheduled for tomorrow night at 7 at the Yarmouth Police Department. I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Eric. Tonight we're hearing from a longtime friend of Officer Gannon, now a priest at the Akushnet Church where Gannon was an altar server. Father Riley Williams and Sean Gannon both graduated from Bishop Stang High School in Dartmouth back in 2003. This morning, he said Mass at Bishop Stang in memory of his friend. Gannon was also a New Bedford native, and today, New Bedford Mayor John Mitchell honored the fallen officer. What happened to Officer Gannon yesterday is a stark reminder of uh, the risks of of the job. Sean was always great to get along with and I think that's why you know so many people know him and have such good memories with him. Bishop Stang High School says Sean Gannon's sacrifice will always be remembered there. And Eyewitness News will have continuing coverage of the tributes and memorials to Officer Sean Gannon both on air and online at WPRI.com.